on the train up to Iwish. It's a conference to encourage women to get into STEM subjects in like third level of education. It's great that Irish Rail are providing the trains for us free. It's lovely to get the girls up to Dublin for the day to learn all about STEM and for their future careers. So as guidance counsellor, we're ensuring that all our girls get the opportunity to go to the Irish Conference in Dublin. Um, it's really important for our students to get the exposure to some brilliant female representatives and role models um, in different science, technology, engineering and maths careers and hopefully to take on something like that for themselves in the future. See, I, I kind of want a career in STEM so hopefully it kind of narrows down my options because we're picking our leaving our subjects at the moment at school. Um, I'm here today just to support the girls on their journey to the RDS. We're doing some electrical tasks, I'm just doing in like household wearing, they're wearing a plug and a socket, just testing a bit with a multimeter and just showing them the ins and outs. Hopefully today I'll be able to see other careers in STEM and maybe learn a bit more about something I want to do in college. I work for Irish Rail for the last four years and I'm an engineer and I would like to encourage more girls to go into engineering. If you want to make a difference, this is the perfect opportunity and this is the place to be. It's a great opportunity for us to like learn all about new subjects and new jobs. I'm giving them my experiences and try to find them in the right direction and try to get them in interested in apprentices because there's not just one apprenticeship, there's 66 different apprenticeships. I hope that girls around Ireland will be able to see how successful women are in STEM and the next time someone's asked to name a scientist, it won't be names like Arba Einstein or, I don't know, JJ Thompson. It'll be names like Marie Curie or Florence Nightingale.